you have heard and watched loads of movies on zombies imagine Bambi. Deer that stumble, drool, and stare blankly, like something straight out of a horror movie. Sounds scary, right? Well, it's not fiction. This is zombie deer disease, and it's spreading across the US. CWD is caused by prions, which are basically rogue proteins that can cause other proteins to fold incorrectly. These misfolded proteins clump together in the brain, causing damage and leading to the symptoms we see in infected animals. This disease, called chronic wasting disease or CWD, affects deer, elk, and other hoofed animals. It's a nasty prion disease, messing with their brains and making them act strange. It takes a while for infected animals to show symptoms, like losing weight, stumbling, and acting listless. The bad news? There's no cure. So far, it's only affected animals, but the big question is, can humans get it? Here's the scary part. In Wisconsin, Dr. Anderson believes thousands of people may have already eaten meat from infected deer. While no human cases have been confirmed, it's a reminder of the risk. And making matters worse, getting rid of CWD is like trying to fight a ghost. It sticks around in the environment for years, clinging to dirt and surfaces, immune to most cleaning methods, even harsh chemicals and extreme heat. Experts are also concerned about the potential for CWD to become more common in the future. Climate change and deforestation could push animals closer to humans, increasing the chances of these diseases jumping species. So, what can we do? Research is ongoing, but for now, hunters take precautions and avoid areas with outbreaks. Remember, most deer meat is still safe, but stay informed and avoid risky practices. Experts like Dr. Anderson warn that zoonotic diseases, like CWD, could become more common, with estimates suggesting a 12-fold increase in deaths by 2050. Climate change and deforestation are pushing animals closer to us, opening up more chances for these diseases to jump species. Protecting our environment and wildlife helps combat these zoonotic diseases. By working together, we can keep both deer and humans healthy. This isn't just about deer. It's about our future.